Hello everyone, welcome again in Eggman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will try to do relative permeability normalization and denormalization. So if we have several core samples, for example, we have several core samples. And of course, from the core sample, or to be accurate, the special core analysis, if we have several special core analysis reports from which we can have several relative permeability data and we just want to come up with only one representative relative permeability curve which will represent our entire field okay suppose that's the case and yeah, we will try to do exercise regarding relative permeability, average, something like that. And the source from which I take this example is, of course, the, the great book, Tarek Ahmed, uh, Reservoir Engineering. Okay, so if you are interested, you can go to the, the textbook, the, the very interesting textbook. And yeah, you can cross check with this exercise that I that I will do soon, okay? So here we are in this spreadsheet and this is the game plan. To save my time and your time, I will just show you the, the result which have been answered, okay? I already did this exercise and I just will explain how I can get that result, okay? Because if, if I have to start from scratch yeah it will take some time uh, the recording and something like that okay but hopefully i can i can explain as many things as possible from this spreadsheet okay so here we go suppose we have three core samples let's say core a core b core c from a reservoir and yeah whatever maybe it can come from three wells or maybe three depths, okay? And let's say we only have, out of our entire field, let's say we only have three core samples from which we generate this, this special core analysis and we take the relative permeability data, okay? So for core sample A, the thickness of the core sample is one feet and the relative, I mean the absolute permeability is 100 milli Darcy. And based on the laboratory measurement, we know that the critical oil saturation, okay, is 0 0.35. And then the critical or corner water saturation is, you know, this 0 0.25. Or maybe it's not critical oil saturation, it's residual oil saturation. Okay, so SOC is the residual oil saturation. But... In, in Tarek Ahmed book, he used critical oil saturation, okay? And the second core sample, core sample B, again, the thickness is one feet, but the absolute permeability is 80 millidarcies. The oil saturation, residual oil saturation is 0 0.28, whereas the con water saturation is 0 0.30, okay? And, and the core sample C, thickness one feet, and then permeability 150 millidarcies and the critical oil saturation or residual oil saturation in this in this context 0 0.35 and conic water saturation 0 0.20 and here is our relative permeability package okay let me okay from core sample a core sample b and core sample c Okay, and then here I use yellow color to denote the critical saturation. Okay, like this one. This is the 0 0.25 conat water saturation and the relative permeability of the oil at this conat water saturation is 0 0.85. Okay, and on the other hand, at residual oil saturation or saturation of water of 0 0.65, the maximum relative permeability of water 0 0.4, and so on and so forth. Okay, so maybe you're a student, yeah, 
the data that you will use in your class is of course maybe from textbook or maybe from literature but if you are a new engineer okay watching this channel whatever okay uh, you can get the skull report special core analysis report maybe from several reports from one reservoir and you can gather the relative permeability curve data and then you can do exercise like this okay so let's get or let's extract one representative relative permeability curve from these three core samples okay i'm going to follow the steps from Tarek Ahmed book okay and i think some experts has uh, have their own approach but yeah i will i will follow for the base case the Tarek Ahmed approach okay so first 